Hello friends, welcome to my second video. Hope the first video was very informative for you and I got good likes and good views for that and few of the subscribers also there. And looking at the queries of one of the sub viewer, I have taken a special topic on semaphore by taking a question, a gate 2014 question. Okay, so this is your session 2. There were three sessions in gate 2014. So this is the second session, question number 31, which is purely on your semaphore, a producer consumer problem. So what is the question? It is saying consider that you are given a producer consumer problem which is having semaphore value n is equal to 7, uh, 0 and semaphore s equal to 1. Now what actually is semaphore? Semaphore is a shared variable, shared variable between the processes. Assuming that semaphore n is having this memory space and semaphore s is having this memory space whose value is initialized to 1 and 0. Now, can I consider to be a binary semaphore? Yes, I can. Because there are only two ways. Like it is if S is initialized to 1, that means it will be having value 1 and 0. And N is initialized to 0. Means I may assume it to be the number of processes actively participating in this or maybe the size of the buffer. Again, assuming that if you are not aware with producer-consumer problem, how you will solve this? Uh, Going to see this producer and consumer, it is something like a company is producing something and as a customer, I am consuming something, okay. So, I cannot consume unless until producer has produced, okay. And producer cannot put in the things again and again. It needs to fill it only to the certain limit. If I am saying that the limit, let's say this is the limit where I can install, I can have insert only 10 elements. So, producer can produce only 10 elements and then consumer will consume all those 10 element. So now, over here, if I am assuming that producer is starting first, ideally it should, but again your question may be, what if consumer will start first? We will come to that point again. So if a producer is starting first, so while true, produce, so producer is producing. Now same weight, what weight indicates? The value of the semaphore is decremented by 1, this is the implementation of a semaphore. So this value will be decremented by what and it becomes zero. Now this indicates that no other process can enter and this this add to buffer is my critical region or a critical section. Hope you all know what a critical section is. It is a section where only one process is allowed to enter. No other process can enter unless someone is there inside. If that process comes out of the critical section then and then second process can enter. After that it is same signal S that means this value is now again incremented to 1. So what will happen at same signal n? It will again increment the value of 0 to 1. So this is how a producer will work and again a while too that means this process will keep on repeating. Now assuming that producer has executed once and now consumer is executing. Again this is an inter-process communication kind of problem. So now semaphore weight s. Weight s means this s will be decremented by 1. So it becomes 0 semaphore weight n it will be again decremented by 1 so it will become 0 that means again we are entering into the critical region where over here the consumer was producing the thing and, and putting into the basket now consumer is consuming the thing from the basket so this will then, uh, decrement to 9, 8 and up to 0 then once that is consumed semaphore signal s that means this will be incremented by 1 and consume that means now the consumer can consume the thing so looking at this what it means that if i am taking producer first and then consumer it thinks of ideal situation where after producing consumer is consuming now take a scenario where consumer is executing first and then a producer so what will be the initial value initial values are for n it is 0 and for s it is 1 now if a consumer is consuming first so what it happened semaphore weight s so this will become 0 semaphore weight n this is already 0 decrementing this means it is minus 1 and minus 1 means it will not go ahead it indicates that the, there is someone is already in the critical section or at minus 1 we are just making that process to explicitly wait it cannot do anything okay that means it cannot proceed further so if it cannot proceed further now producer don't know whether consumer has entered the critical section so producer may think okay let me enter the critical um, let me start executing the program so what it will do it will start producing 
it will meet semaphore weight s so that means this will be now decremented to minus 1 again minus 1 indicates that the process cannot proceed further and again it will be explicitly in a waiting mode so this is a waiting mode for a producer and this is a waiting mode for a consumer so what happens consumer is waiting for producer to produce and producer is waiting for consumer to release the resource as a result there is a deadlock between the two process so this cannot proceed further this cannot proceed further so this option tells me that there is a deadlock now what are the situations now your question was which of the following is true so the options are option a the producer will be able to add an item to the buffer but consumer can never consume it okay let us see whether it is true or false producer will be able to add an item to the buffer yes we have seen that producer is producing an item and it is adding to the buffer but consumer can never consume it now never consume it it cannot happen because we have already seen that after producer is executing once consumer can enter it enter into the critical region and it can consume the item so this option is false moving to second b the consumer will remove no more than one item from the buffer see let us see whether it is true or false over here producer is producing an item and let's say consumer is little bit uh, lazy like me you know he likes to sleep and he don't want to pro consume the things and producer is very smart enough he is like a current company where it is continuously producing the things so producer is running again and again it is a true condition okay so your n value it is always incremented over here it is not decremented that means producer can produce n number of items whereas consumer if assuming that if n value is 10 over here that means consumer can consume all those 10 items without any issue so again this becomes false i can say this problem is an infinite buffer problem if i want to have a finite buffer problem i need to set a buffer size i need to take one more semaphore let's say semaphore e which will be initialized with the buffer size moving to option c deadlock occurs if the consumer succeeds in acquiring semaphore s when buffer is empty yes this is what we have already seen that if consumer is executing first then this situation was arising if you remember n is equal to 0 minus 1 that means consumer is waiting and after that if producer is coming then producer is also making it to minus 1 and he is also waiting as a result producer and consumer both are waiting 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 and ultimately it leads to deadlock so i can say this is definitely true let us justify the last option the starting value for the semaphore n must be 1 and not 0 for a deadlock free operation. Now what will happen if your starting value is n? Let us see that. So I am assuming your initial n value is 1 and s value is 1. And if consumer is executing first, it will make this 0 and also this to be 0 and it will remove from buffer now if consumer is consuming for the first time and if producer has not produced anything how can he consume nothing is there to be consumed right so that means this will create a problem so this cannot be option and it's same for a deadlock free operation it will be a deadlock because it is trying to get the data from let's say stack and nothing is there in stack and it will return stack is empty or an underflow so this condition is also false so your correct answer is option c Hope uh, this was very clear to you. In case if you have any query, uh, you can go through the books or you can even mail me again. The email ID, as we have discussed last time, is Prius Academy at gmail.com. Also, you can post some comments if you will, like, you can give your own feedbacks. You can share it with your friends and you can again ask me any other topic if you want and I will try my best to give you a video solution for that. Hope this was useful for you. Okay, all the best.